You got him? Send it. Here in the mighty old Tearoa or New Zealand, we are blessed with both the quality and volume of public land hunting available to us. What is unique to New Zealand is the wide range of species we have to hunt in the public land. They consist of seven species of deer, three types of goat, you know, the Himalayan tar and the chamois, wild pigs, wild sheep, and of course, wild cattle. Now most of these species under New Zealand legislation are considered to be pests as they cause massive damage to our native bush and our high country. So you kind of get where I'm going with this? Basically, we can shoot them all. So join me and my good old mate Toby First Light Hughes as we head into the hills looking for one of those four-legged buggers that damage our bush. Well, we've got a couple of things. We've got moisture and we've got a fuckload of cars in the car park. This seems to be our luck at the moment. But anyway. Raincoats on, head up to the blind. <sighs> I'd have a look for a D, I suppose. Pretty wet man, pretty bloody wet. So, um, not a bad morning. We've spotted how many deer, bro? Seven. Six or seven deer. Um, a couple were ever on private land, um, which would have been ironically easy to shoot. But um, just down in here, we've spotted, um, yeah, about five or so, but they're just not holding. Um, moving through the Manuka, get a glimpse of them. And then um, they just high tail it, but bumped into one another. Uh, a guy and his girlfriend have walked way over the back of there, and we got two other ding dongs who walked past us and are sitting up there. <laughs> Actually, I know the voice, cheeky bastards. Um, looking into the same valley, looking for a big fellow buck. But, uh, see how things pan out, but it's. Um, this is a spot we reconned a couple of weekends ago. It's not hard to recon because everybody knows where it is. Um, the actual guy that's sitting up there got here and said, you're on my spot. And I said, well, I don't see your name on it. <laughs> anyway, keep glassing. See if I can't spot us a couple of targets. Stand by. Well, it wasn't too long before we picked up Z targets and not what we were expecting. Wild cattle. Yes, wild cattle. Now these cattle are ex-domestic and have been in this block for years and are considered to be feral. Now both Toby and I had heard stories from other hunters who had shot these cattle and the feedback on their taste wasn't so good. Well our curiosity was getting the better of us and with the lack of other targets Toby said he was keen to have a crack and well you know what happens next. No, just take him in the shoulder, bro. Really? Yep. Hit him, bro. Hit him. No. Go on and send it. Drop it. 
Well, um, <clears throat> ah, he shot a cow, a wild cow. Um, you bastard. <laughs> but to be fair, we'd spotted um, maybe, oh, I, I won't say how many, but enough deer in here in this basin. The only problem is that um, it must get a bit of pressure because they weren't hanging around, eh? Mm, they were gassing pretty quick. Um, Caught up with a uh, couple of boys, the Cooper boys from uh, that used to work for, or I used to work with, and uh, a lovely couple that are staying down in the, uh, and uh, what's that, what was the other bro's name? Oh, he's, he's a nice fella too, eh? Yeah, I can't remember his name. But anyway, he, he'd he been doing solar mission way out there by those, those three nipples you can see way up there. Um, he had a sort of fellow buck on the back of his pack and... Um, uh, a shitload of meat, and he looked like he'd had a hard, hard yeah. walk out, hearty bugger. But anyway, so we're just a bit mindful about um, the other cows mingling around the other one. We just don't want to get piss bowled by a cow, so we'll take um, probably take Toby's rifle over for protection and a shitload of ammo. Um, but the, the the plan is, we've been told, don't walk across that face, go back up there, and then and come back down. So. That's going to be our um, our recovery plan today. He, he's, look at him. Look, he's fucking really chuffled himself, eh? <laughs> but, to be fair, <clears throat> in this place, we, you hear a lot of hunters talk about shooting those wild cattle and then uh, getting a bunch of guys together to try and recover all the meat. Um, we've also heard stories of um, even one of the, the couple that was up here that um, crock pot, curry, and slow cooker. <laughs> Cooked the shit out of it. I said, that's what you would do for a goat. But, um, oh, shit, that back out again. Oh, I'm really worried about that, man. Yeah. So we sacked a lot of them. Might have to, eh? Righty. So that's us. Uh, short, sharp plan is the cows have moved off. We are pretty satisfied that it's going to be safe enough for us to go over there, eh, bro? And we're going to take a rifle just in case. Um, move down with caution. The recovery plan is to hikoi all the way up, up over there, and then drop back down to where the, um, the cow was over there. I'll do a sight and go on my watch first, make sure we're on track, and we're away. So, the sight and go is telling us basically we're in line from the shooting blind to um, where the animal is. And what we're using is um, a screenshot of the video footage and the animal's just in here somewhere. I don't know if you can see that because of the screen, but we're working off that, that pine tree. Is that pine tree there that you can see. So we're referencing off that and basically it should be just down in there. So our plan is to, um, and this is where we err on the side of caution. Follow that rocky ridge down there, get there. Toby's gonna tool up, throw the um, suppressor and mag on the rifle. Wind it back to full power, three power whatever. Prepping it. So are just gonna run it without the suppressor. Really, just to make a lot of, a lot of fucking noise. Uh, um, got your mic? Yeah. I'll take your stick, bro. Yep. You, just, you, 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 lead, you go lead. Yep. Oh. I'll just ditch the stick now. 
I mean, I can't even imagine, we've been talking about this, I can't even imagine what it's like hunting in America when you've got fucking bears and wolves and shit like this, and here we are shitting ourselves with some wild ass cows. Wild ass cows. But, um, just walk down with caution, make a lot of, a lot of noise, you heaps of yarning. Um, loud ass. Loud ass. All right, um, so that's us. Fist pump to my brother. She broke. Mickey shooting. Uh, uh, oh, we shot from somewhere up there, but we... It's all right, bro. I'll... We're gonna be here, like, I'll just get chambered, man. Yeah, yeah, all right. all right. So after a few photos, we analyzed our animal. She turned out to be a young heifer, maybe two, three years old. I started hooking into the boning out process, but I was ever mindful of what other hunters had said about the meat being a bit tough and not tasting the greatest. So after recovering the meat we wanted, it was time to get a hunt smart on us and prepare for that big walk back up the hill. Oh, well, that's just a little thank you to uh, the old bush cattle for obviously feeding our family and friends, so oh, time to grind back up the top of that hill oh my goodness <laughs> There we go, back at the shooting blind. Cheer, brother. Uh, bumped into another couple of hunters who were heading way at the back of Mount Ross. Top fellas, top fellas. And then we got some more people walking up the track, so recover our gears and get out of here. Oh. Well, pretty unusual little mission, eh? Uh, oh, good. Um, so just a bit of a recap. Just a morning shot out with the bro. We went up to a position we reconned last weekend. Got into some deer, and then obviously fast movers. Too fast for us. Mm. Mm. Um, and um, we got us an animal. Uh, not the target species, bonus species anyway, but um, your thoughts, bro? Yeah, yeah, pretty hard case. Yeah. Cool to, cool to get one. Um, See what it tastes like. To be fair, since Toby and I have been coming up here, and, and a couple of other boys, um, there, there always has been the talk about having a coordinator shoot to try and get those wild cattle. Um, we were just very lucky the two of us pulled it off this morning. Um, mm. I've got to say, um, thread the needle is the saying I'll use for the shots he pulled off. Um, Smoke that one right on the um, shoulder, and then um, to put it down, um, put the shot right past that, that yeah, other cow's head, yeah, and yeah. hit it right square on the um, top of the rump. Um, so uh, other than that, bro, um, hearty mission. Yeah, well, yeah, hard. Um, another one. That's so another one. Hopefully, we well, definitely next one will be will be on deer. Um, but anyway, um, other than that, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that short, sharp mission. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next adventure. Um, but look at this. I'll just ask this fella. Well, what's that big hunk of meat you got in that pan there, brother? Oh. What's the story behind that? It's actually not venison. <laughs> it's actually a bit of wild beef that we uh, recently ran into. Mm -hmm. And didn't run away. No. Us. That's a legitimate wild beef. Feral wild cow out in the bush that we slayed. We, we slayed and recovered. So, um, it'd be nice to have a uh, bit of a nibble on that later on. Mm.
a bit like it down in the air. Yeah, it feels pretty soft. Still pretty raw. Holy fuck, that is delicious. That is, that is so delicious. Oh my god. What the fuck did I give this away? Oh my god.